Thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're working on a GM Gen 5 LT series engine. This one is a 5.3 L83 that we took out of a 2015 Chevy 1500. We're prepping it for an install in an 87 Camaro. We've got a Holly oil pan we're going to install on this and we're going to show you how to do it for your project. Now we've got our Holly oil pan unboxed, set up on the bench. All of the gaskets and O-rings are AC Delco GM parts, so you know it's all good quality. The very first thing you need to do is flip your pan up, take some brake clean and some bottle brushes, and you got to clean every uh, orifice on this thing because all this is cast and machined, and you don't want any trash floating around inside your oil. So we're just going to... Spray this out, fog this down real good, take our bottle brush, and once you have everything cleaned up, just take your towel, just kind of sop all that up, make sure you dry it out real good. Now the next thing we want to do is install our base tray, and this just drops down in here like this. There's four bolts in each corner. You want to prep those bolts with a little bit of thread locker. Take that, just thread it in by hand. Next we have our pickup tube and the gasket. We're just going to pop the gasket right there drops in to the pan. We're going to take two M12 uh, 16 millimeter bolts. Get some Loctite on that. Do not skimp on the Loctite, it's very important. Okay, then we're just going to take our impact, we're just going to bump this. Do not fully tighten this yet. While these bolts are loose, you want to lift up on the pickup tube. Just lift a little bit and then tighten these. Lifting it ensures that the pickup tube is in the right position. Now we're going to take our windage tray, drop this in here. Now one of these bolts is a little bit longer. That goes right here in this position. This is where the pickup tube support is. So we're going to start there. All right. Then we're going to put thread locker on all the rest of them and tighten these down. Right now we have our new O-rings and these just drop right here. These are for the oil supply. And then we have our pickup tube O-ring. Just gonna push that in there. All right now we have a plug on the side of the oil pan. This is good if you're going to turbo or do something else. You need a, a, a good oil return back into the pan. That's a good port for that. But it comes with a plug because we're not using it. And you just want to put a little bit of thread sealing on that. Then run that in there. Got the nipple in there. This is a 24 uh, socket. We're going to put about 40 foot-pounds on this. We'll check this with a torque wrench later. This is the billet aluminum block-off plate that Holly supplies. Uh, we actually are going to use this for a oil pressure sending position. We're going to drill and tap this here in a little while, but 
you want to make sure that you have your gasket installed correctly. The tab goes towards the front, and this is the top. You slide your bolts in. These metal gaskets have little stars cut into them to hold the bolts, make it nice and easy. You can just drop that in. Don't forget the plug. We've got the engine on the stand. We have a 13 millimeter socket on our impact and we're just gonna break all these bolts loose and pull them out. Now, we're gonna pull all these bolts. You have to reuse these with the new oil pan, so don't toss them. There's two 10 millimeter bolts that go into the block from the bottom of the oil pan. You gotta remove those as well. There's this extra cap here that's bolted down. You do not need to remove this. This stays on the oil pan, you don't need it. The oil pan is glued on, so we're gonna use a gasket scraper and we're gonna put it in here, this notch right here on the front uh, passenger side. We're just gonna pry up real carefully, back and forth a few times. And then there's not a notch on this side, so we're just going to wedge it in right here, pry it up. Pull off that oil pan. Now we're going to use this gasket scraper. You don't have to use this, but you can use something, uh, a nice razor blade or something like that. And we're just going to scrape off all that old gasket. You don't want this to drop down inside the engine, so just be careful. Uh, around the back corners, you can go ahead and just peel that off by hand. I'm going to take some brake cleaner, spray it on a rag, and I'm just going to clean this edge up, get all, any oil off of it. You just want this edge as clean as can be because there is no gasket. It gets glued down with silicone. We're going to use some uh, JB Weld Gray RTV. You want a nice bead all the way around. You want to put a little extra on the front cover and the rear cover. This is the this is the original o-ring you gotta peel that off you don't want that you don't want your new one sitting on top of that now we take our pan we carefully lower it down and drop it in place so now we're going to take our rear bolts we're going to drop those in make sure that those are lined up Now the rest of our bolts can go in. We're all right now all we're doing is dropping them in, putting a couple threads on each one. There's a very specific torque sequence that you need to follow on these pans, okay? It's very important that you do this. And Holly has that provided here in their instructions. What we're gonna do is mark each one with a Sharpie and then we'll go back through it. The oil filter's up here. And that's how we have it marked out on our paper. So we're just going to go one, two. So this is our sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's it? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're going to use our Ingersoll Rand brushless impact, which actually has four different settings on it. This is hand tight, wrench tight, half power, full power. We're going to set this on the uh, wrench setting, and that should get these taken care of. We're just going to tighten them, snug them down first. 
just to set the pan. Now we're gonna bump this up, and now we're gonna torque them all. And that's all there is to installing the Holly Gen 5 LT series uh, swap oil pan. Uh, this is a pretty simple job. It takes you, you know, hour and a half, two hours to do. We are going to modify the bypass cover so we can put an oil sender on here, uh, but we'll we'll deal with that later. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.